Hi, this is Tom with Arizona Strut. Today I'd like to talk with you a little bit about our environmental education initiatives. So whether we're talking to uh, some of our uh, partner schools of students in those programs, whether we're talking to uh, smaller STEM groups of students across the valley and after school programs, et cetera, or if we're talking to community groups, uh, the Qantas, uh, Rotary groups, or the many computer clubs around the valley, uh, what we talk with them about, what do we represent in regards to uh, um, recycling technology, uh, really what we're talking about is urban environmental education and what we talk about a lot is green tech. What is green tech? Uh, green tech is trying to get the most out of the technology, uh, trying to make it so we're not making uh, unnecessary purchases so they don't have to manufacture more of some item. Uh, again, reuse, reuse, reuse. Uh, we also talk about environmental concerns of what happens to the electronics when they're all done, end of life. Uh, for the past oh, six, eight years, CRT monitors have been an issue. They are an ongoing issue. We're still dealing with it, even though hardly anybody has CRT monitors in their home, in their business, or in their school anymore. The CRTs, of course, have a lot of lead embedded in the glass. Many people think it's some problem with electronics behind. That's not it. The big issue is lead embedded in the glass. Four pounds of lead embedded in the glass of a 17-inch CRT monitor. Anyway, we've been talking about that for six, eight years. We're still concerned about it, still working with it. Um, when I talk to students and I go, you want to make your money and you want to make an impact in the next five to 10 years, how to extract mercury from LCD monitors is going to be our next issue. In other words, we have tons of LCD monitors, right? Here's one. There's another one over here. How many do you have in your house? I don't know, five, 10? How many in the classroom? There's 10, 20, 30. They're everywhere, right? And we keep getting more. And now we're starting to discard those. Well, we're still getting reuse out of the LCDs, but there's gonna hit this point where there's an end of life. And the element in an LCD monitor that's problem, no lead, yay, no lead. However, there's trace amounts of mercury. Mercury still is not good for us. So the individual that gets the most effective, efficient way to extract mercury from LCD screens, yay, that's a good thing. So what do you, those are the kinds of things we talk about when we're talking about environmental education, urban environmental education, green tech here at Arizona Strike. Thanks for your time.